Oh, you fucking cucumber. Cucumber. Where'd that come from? Hello and welcome to my iRacing channel and another crack at IMSA because we enjoyed it last week quite a lot. I enjoyed the multi-class so we're going to tackle it again this week. This week's track is Spa and we're going to be doing it with the Ferrari 488 GTE. Spa, a track that I've raced quite a lot on the VRS series. Different car completely, it's a GT3 versus GTE. Again, no ABS in the GTE so the braking points are completely different. Uh, obviously prone to locking up if I put too much pressure, but hopefully that's not going to happen. Let's see how we get on at Spa then, because who knows, tricky track, anything could go wrong. Wish me luck. So here we are, first go, adventure go, go. out at Spa. There's an incident in the chicane. We've qualified in P7 with a 214.7. And I've also just realised that this race is an hour long, not 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not mentally prepped for an hour. Anyway, let's get stuck in. Do the best we can anyway. Okay, Rob. Decent start. We can build something from here. So we've not done a ton of practice, but let's hope it's enough and that we've got enough experience on this track from previous entries to know where we're going. I just fancied another outing at IMSA because I did enjoy it with the multi-class back end of last week. So I thought I'd give it another go. And why not? Because Spa's a brilliant track as well. I was a little bit torn though because I also like, oops, down too many gears. Uh, I also like Bathurst or Mount Panorama that's on the VRS series. And of course it's the, the 12 hours of Bathurst this weekend as well, which I'll maybe run about an hour in for Team Potato. There's an incident in turn 13. Yeah, might just have to do a little bit less talking. I'm getting a bit distracted. I need to lock this track Yellow in. Flag. Caution. Bet that's an LMP that's gone off. Yeah, LMP fighting its way back around the GT. E's, oh, don't think there's any GT3s in this race either. Sixty minutes, action packed. Incident in La Source. Yeah, okay, that's going to be an LMP then. Okay, Rob, there'll be chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. P8. P8. What? Oh, lost a position then. Didn't realise. Wrestling with that guy behind's got a little bit more speed than I have. I'm gonna stick it on this side if he wants to go on the inside. He's gonna have to send All it. All right, and it is still there. Hold your line. He's hit me. Right, man. Mate, what the hell? I'm terrible. Terrible driving. We were on a straight line as well. You complete and utter divvy. There's an incident in turn nine. Wow. Yellow flag. That guy did not deserve to stay alive. Be honest with you. He had the inside line, I'd slowed down for him. That's lost us a right chunk of places. 
Anyway, early doors, hour long race. Head down. Just didn't want to have to start taking risks this early on. As we were just settling into our race. What the hell was that guy doing? What a knob. This guy's going to slow me down now. Yeah, there was absolutely no need for that guy to to pump me off track like that. There's plenty of room. I'd left him space. This guy. Fuck it up. Swervy Swervington. Good. And we'll get this guy on the inside. Car left. Clear left. Nice one, Rob. Good pass. Eyes front. This point that the guy that has punted me off track is still running. I say it really doesn't deserve to after that manoeuvre. He's a tired man. Have I got damage as well now? Look at my straight line. There's an incident in Bruxelles. Come on, don't make it easy for him. Make him go the long way around. Fuck. Car left. Clear left. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> I've lost it, and they've also lost it by watching me, but uh, I feel like I'm running a bit of damage. The gap in front has increased to 4.2 seconds. Which is weird, because I didn't feel like I'd a... Uh, oh, shout! look at the state of this. Like I'd taken much of an impact off of the guy at the start. It literally just shunted me, punted me off track. It's going to be a long way back from here then, guys. The gap to Roberts behind is now 1.9 seconds. There's an incident in Lake Coombe. Yellow flag, watch out. Oh dear. Bit of the death races, this one. So far, anyway. Right, chap in front, four seconds. Okay, switching Delta to session best. That's the fastest lap. That last lap was a 216.22. Just don't have the pace. It's a shame because we're running consistent 214s in practice, which is where I believe we need to be race pace for this strength of field. In fact, we would have been doing well, but uh, that early on damage there from asshole, lap one, whatever it was, has uh, unfortunately ruined us for the duration of this 60 minute event. The gap in front has increased, it's now about 5.7 seconds. Can't catch him, can't catch him, Jeff. All I can do is keep going pick up the places from people that write the cars off which I'm sure there will be a few but uh, currently in P12 not hopeful for uh, any kind of positive high rating this one blue flag caught by the LMPs you're being caught by the LMP2 blue class blue cars blue. Blue 
flag. Car right. Right side's clear. The gap behind is now 4.3 seconds. He's had to really stay out of his way then. Flat out through there. Front is now 8.7. There's a faster class car behind. P12. You've just done a 216.05. Blue flag. Ain't got note. <clears throat> this thing's gonna wreck me now coming into here. I'm gonna take my line anyway because I've got no choice. Left side. Clear left. <laughs> right side. It's still there. Blue flag. Clear right. <laughs> we are running way back. Oh, it's not concentrating now. All right, Rob. Wrong gear. There's a faster class car approaching. <laughs> well, we know they can't all be good races. But certainly, we don't want races to start off the way this one has. Could have been a lot worse, but we lost a lot of positions. And we're definitely Pass suffering the car behind. because of it. Uncalled for whatever that guy's done, it's really pissed me off. Gibbs is leading the race. Blue flag. On your right, clear right, blue flag. Oh, we've just broke a 216, 215.959. That'll do. Let's end the race there. Finish on a high. There's a group of faster cars bearing down on you. These guys are scrapping for position. Pretty good. Blue flag. Sure I can find a suitable straight for them to get past me. Shan't be here. So I'll be taking my inside line. The guy behind's really new in. The gap's now 7.4 seconds. Clear left. Car left. He's still there. He Clear just hit left. me. This tosser. First race of the week's always fairly ropey. Of course, we get better towards the end of the week. Let's hope we can do the same here at Spa, even though they had an unfortunate start of the race. There's an incident in the chicane. Because we were looking fairly promising in practice, like I say, running. The car ahead's pitting now. 214.5. Okay, half distance. Or thereabouts. We estimate 18 minutes of fuel remaining. Which would have put us right up there. P9, sector one is. 5.0 seconds off the pace. Sector 2 is 0 0.37 off the pace. Sector 3 time is fast. <coughs> Not gaining any places back out, so no one's crashing out. Oh, we're in peak 10. Alright, okay. 
All is not lost, but not far off still. <clears throat> left side. Clear left. B6. So we're running P6, but a few cars have pit already. And VRS, we normally do get an early pit, but I'm leaving out a bit longer here now. Maybe next okay, lap. Rob. You're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 15 seconds. Oh, we're near gaining, am I? Focus on the exits. We can go faster here. That's 20 minutes to go. OK, I'm going to have to get this brought in them for some fuel, get us to the end of the race. At least when all we're done and dusted and it brings us back out in our genuine race position. P6 would be lovely, but this is not it. Watch your speed. What do you mean? You need to go faster, Jeff, not watch your speed, rubbish. Where's the, uh, whoa. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Stuffed. Oh, no. Okay, Rob, <laughs> we'll fill you to the end of the race. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. <laughs> McLaughlin is now in the lead. Optional repairs, 16 seconds. Get out, don't need them. Your exit is clear, watch the white line. Right, that's gonna bring us out way down the line now. Wonder if Jamie and Aaron, who are now in front of us, have pit. There's an incident in La Source. Lost, uh, lost traction then. Completely. Right. Who stayed out? Aaron stayed out, but he's uh, yet to pit. P9. Graham Gibbs is still to pit. Right. About another, what, 16, 17 minutes left? I feel confident with the track. Okay, Rob. Relax, focus, keep it smooth. 15 it's minutes something. left, that's 15 minutes. Something's definitely slowing us down on the straights. Absolutely positive we should be in the 2.14s now. Maybe 12 minutes left-ish. Oh, you fucking cucumber. Stay between the lines, please, Rob. Oh. Cucumber. Where'd that come from? Fighting hard. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Keep Just digging. Every little scrap I can and go and cock it up like that. I 
I need to stay in front of the guys behind because I don't have the, uh, the running straight line pace either. We've got about five minutes left. Can I just hang on to the end? P10. Not sure that's going to get us any I rating gain. May lose a bit. Down three places from where we started. Absolutely adamant. Should have been higher up than this. But uh, again, just a little bitter from the start of the race. Happens. You need to push if we're going to hold this position. Racing incidents, of course. Can't have a good race every race. And the last, what, three IMSAs have been pretty kind to me. I'm enjoying the faster classes, though. Coming blasting past. Exciting. Incident in. Who on? Yellow flag. Caution. Left side. Clear left. Right, I think that, that car was showing still to pit anyway, but can't possibly be with this little fuel left. Well, this little tiny bit of race left at the end anyway. There's a faster car approaching. Again, concentrate. Don't know what you're talking about. It's waffling away. Which has allowed Maximilian to get within two seconds of me. Daydreaming. Blue flag. All right, right side's clear. Well, let's go. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Come on, just need to stay ahead of this guy. A little bit longer. Flag. Well, he's definitely an off track. Maybe slow down. Oh, shit. We just had a warning for cutting the track. Car left. Didn't need that Clear left. You need to slow down to give back the time gained. I don't want to. How long's left to give it back? Can I get away with it? Probably going to mean me losing this place, I think, now. Yeah, yeah, drop it, drop it, drop, 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 drop. Car left. Clear left. Damn it. Uh, Sorry, Max, I had okay, a clear on. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Damn it. What a cock up. Can't believe I've had a slow Car behind's down. a faster class. Blue flag. Well, it's a case now. Do we really throw some risks at him? If I can. One more to go. Very little fuel left. This guy's flashing me, but I don't know where he wants me to go. On your left. Clear left. I think I've got a faster exit than him. Oh no, do I? I don't think I do. Blue 
blue flag. OK, Rob. There's a faster class car approaching. Come on, keep it going, because I've got bloody LMP on the inside of me now. Clear left. McLaughlin is now leading. Oh, I've glanced off. Took the wrong line. Damn it. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. There's an incident in the chicane. Yellow flag, watch out. There's an incident in La Source. Oh, it's a shame. Right, never mind. I don't know what we're bringing it home in. Probably P10. Yeah. P10. That's the end of the race. We'll get him next time. That is a shame. Never mind. At least we made it to the end of Spa. 60 minutes. Wrists intact. Right then, so uh, I don't think there's much to show really. Maybe we had the slight skid, but of course we had the incident first lap, which we're going to go and take a look at now. So this is our early on second lap incident. We stayed left there, we knew it was there, and he just stayed and clipped me. Absolutely taking me out of the race there. And of course, he just carried on without a care in the world. Slightly different angle. You see, we've gone left, we've stayed left, we've given him plenty of room. It's a massive track, he's at. And for some reason, just slightly stays towards me, nudges me. Another incident, only a very slight one. Just misjudged. Breaking point on that, taking it wide, giving ourselves a 1x. And then this one here, a mistake of our own doing. We've just got the breaking point again, slightly wrong. Off onto the grass. Uh, could have been a lot worse there, could have really hit that wall. And this is the corner cut that cost us a slowdown. So ultimately losses a place at the end of the race to Max. And that'll do for the incidents. Just looking at the car now. That there, front right, looks to be what would have been slowing us down on the straights. So we've lost a bit of straight line speed there, which is why we're struggling to crack 216 most laps. But uh, other than that, relatively clean race, just a few incidents. Right, let's go check out some results. So let's see how that race stacked up. We were in split number six of eight. Strength of field was 15.64. We lost six I rating. Could have been a lot worse. I think we were fairly lucky with that. Lost a tiny little bit of safety rating as well. And we're down this list somewhere with the GTEs. So we started the race after qualifying in P7. And we finished in P10. Should have been a P9, but we had the slowdown and we had to allow Max through. Our quickest lap was a 2.15.618. Fairly confident that the next race will be quicker than that. We did seem to be running a bit of damage on the straights. So I would be looking to get more of a mid-2.14 there. And incident count, 8 at the end of that race. So there we have it. Not the best start to an IMSA week, but a start nonetheless. And we didn't lose as much high rating as we could have potentially done there. Could have been a lot worse. So let's just roll with it. Let's get on to the next one. Unfortunate racing incidents do happen. That guy just clipped us. Likely wasn't malicious, intentional, but it just stayed slightly too much towards us and span us off track. You know, like I say... Just unfortunate that it happened so early on in the race, but never mind, behind us. Right, so we'll get on and look forward to the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a 60-minute race, so it was a little bit more grueling than I'd expected. But um, thanks for watching it anyway. And uh, if you've not already liked the video, please do so. That would really help. And subscribe if you've not done as well, because... 
Need a few more of those. And that's it. All done. Thanks very much. Hopefully, catch you on the next one. See you later. Bye-bye.